guys welcome to DTWG the prep okay so in today's video we're going to be treating subtraction I've earlier on treated addition so you can check out that video all right so today's uh, video we're going to be treating subtraction and several examples under subtractions all right so if it's your first time on this channel please please try to click the subscribe button to support us to grow it's quite a new channel and also we have a Facebook group that you can join to get motivated and encouraged and also if you have have questions on your math you can also drop that uh, you drop your questions and definitely I would respond to you and also people in the community over 600 people in the community will would also help in supporting you get your GED this year all right one more thing Jesus loves you and he is the way he is the truth and he is the life in him you find joy you find peace and everything you're looking for and definitely you find eternal life that's a life after death okay which is spending your eternity in heaven so please please if you haven't given your life to Christ give your life to Christ today okay for him to take control of every situation that pertains to you all right so let's get on to the video now all right so subtraction what is subtraction you know subtraction is just finding the difference between amounts as um, you know addition is when you combine amounts so subtraction is finding the difference between an amount so let's say we are told to find is always called find the difference okay find the difference okay so not all not all the time the question could say subtract this from this or find the difference between it says to find the difference between what 305 and 56 okay so how do we do this so first first thing in subtraction is you the bigger number would come first which is what 305 why the smaller number will come beneath it okay and this is um this is in your uh tens 56 so you know remember your place value so it will be under here that's the tens this is the place value of 56 then don't forget your subtraction sign so let us subtract this now that's what subtracting uh that's what subtracting 56 from 305 okay so how do we do this now you start from your right now from five here can we subtract six from five no we cannot subtract six from five so we have to borrow a one okay and that one you're borrowing is a 10 okay in maths now can we borrow from this zero here there's nothing here we cannot so we have to go to the next number again by our left okay in borrowing you go towards your left okay so we go to three yes we can borrow a one okay so when we remove a one don't forget this will become two because we have borrowed a one so when we take this one here remember as i said that one you you are borrowing okay is a 10 is equal to a 10 so borrowing here so we get a 10 so now we can now take a one from this 10 here is that not it because we're looking at making this number here uh, bigger so we can subtract six from it so if we take a one from this 10 here okay this would remain what nine all right don't forget so that one will come here and you remember the one is what 10 so it will be a 10 plus uh, 5 which is what 15 okay so this is now 15 so we can subtract 6 from 15 and uh, 15 minus uh, 6 okay will give us what a 9 all right I hope you know that so 15 minus 6 will give us a 9 because 6 plus 9 is equal to what 15 so 15 minus 6 will give us what a 9 all right so we have a 9 here and what do we have left here we have left here 9 okay don't forget so can we subtract 5 from 9 yes we can so what is 9 uh, minus 5 that will give us what a 4 okay and here what are we left with here we're left with what 2 because we removed the 1 from here so we're left with 2 so all we need to do here since there's no value here this is like a zero here two minus zero will still give us what a two so this is our answer and to confirm if this is correct you know in subtraction you can easily confirm if it's correct but addition you can't really what confirm oh is this the way i spell different sorry difference there's no i is an e okay so all right so we have here we can confirm this right so in confirming this all we need to do is 
you will add this answer to 56 to see if it will give us what 305 okay that's how we confirm it okay so to make sure our answer is what correct so we add up remember i've done the addition of a lesson so please watch that video so here let us add up 9 plus uh, 6 is 15 so we write a 5 and carry a 1 this 1 plus 4 will give us what a 5 and 5 plus 5 is a 10 so we write a 0 and carry a 1 and this 1 plus 3 will give us what a 3 and 3 plus a 0 here is what 3 so 3 or 5 so it means we are correct here all right so that's how you confirm if um, your difference is what correct. So let's take another example. Let's say we have, okay, let, let's do one more easy one here. We have 108 minus what? 42. Okay, this is quite easy and straightforward. Okay, I, should, I suppose I've done this example first before this, but nevertheless, let's continue. So 8 minus 2, what is 8 minus 2? Okay, because, you know, 2 is smaller, so we can take away 8 from what, uh, 2 from what, 8. Okay, if you're having problems with subtraction, as I said earlier on in the addition video, you can try to work with strokes, okay? Let's um, do 8 strokes here. Um, this is 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, if we're taking away 2 from 8, that's we're subtracting 2 from 8. All we need to do is cross cross two strokes. 1, 2. So what do we have le left here? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So our answer here is what? 6. Okay. That's if you're having... Um, I just uh, digress here a bit. If you're having problems with... Um, um, subtracting and adding um, directly mentally okay you can start with strokes and uh, once you practice well enough you'll be able to mentally quickly subtract or add any um, numbers all right so we have six here can we take uh, away four from zero we cannot okay we cannot take away four from zero so what do we do we have to borrow a one so we borrow this one as i said earlier on that one we are borrowing is a 10 so 10 plus 0 is still what a 10 okay so uh, we can now take away 4 from 10 and uh, that would give us what taking away 4 from 10 we are going to be left with what a 6 so our answer here is what 66 and to confirm this all we need to do is add this plus this okay and add this to and we're going to get 108 okay so let's do something a bit tougher so if we have two 3, How do we do this? Okay, so we start from our right, as I said earlier on. So we have here a 6. 6 minus 3, that would give us what? A 3, okay? Because, you know, we can subtract it, right? Because three is, uh, 6 is bigger than 3, so we can take away 3 from 6, okay? So here, can we take away 9 from 8? We cannot. So we have to borrow a 1. So borrowing a 1, we can borrow a 1 from here since we have a value here. So this is a 3. So we'll borrow a 1 from here. We'll add up this 1 here. Okay. And then, you know, that 1 we're borrowing is a 10. So 10 plus this 8 is 18. Or you can just go straight forward as just saying, you know, when you just place 1 to this 8 here is 18. Okay. So, and don't forget, we have left here a 2. Okay. What, where I see um, students uh, make a lot of mistakes is, is when they take away, uh, you know, they borrow a 1, they forget that they have um, taken away a value from that particular digit okay so always always um, just put it like when you're solving your rough sheet of paper okay just for accuracy's sake just put that you know ju just that small remainder just to uh, to remember okay so we've taken away one from three we're left with what two here so here we have 18 and um if we subtract uh, 18 minus 9 that's taking away 9 from 18 we're going to be left with what nine okay here can we take away seven from two we cannot we have to borrow a one okay you know remember what we have left here is what two so we have to borrow a one so borrowing a one to add up to these two here we have you remember that one is a 10 so we have what a 12 okay so taking away 7 
from 12 we are going to have what five all right now here what do we have left here don't forget we took a one so we have a one left here and this one minus one will give us what a zero all right so we don't need to drop the uh, right a zero here okay so our answer is what five nine three so this is the answer for this okay let's do another one so we are told to subtract uh this is fourteen thousand six eight zero. Okay, minus eight o seven. Okay, so let's do this together. We take away seven from zero. No, we cannot. We have to borrow in one. So in borrowing this one here, adding up, that's a ten plus zero is it? What a ten? Okay, so seven taking away seven from ten we're left with what a three okay what do we have left here we have left here seven and seven minus zero will give us what a seven all right when you're subtracting zero from seven is still what seven okay can we take away eight from six no we cannot since uh, six is uh, smaller than eight so we have to borrow a one here so borrowing a one here uh, we have here 16. So 16 minus 8 will give us what? An 8. Remember, we've taken a 1 here, so we're left with what? 3, okay? And 3 minus 0 is still what? 3. And we have a 1 here, 1 minus, there's nothing here also. 1 minus 0 is still what? A 1. So we're left with our answer as what? 13,873. Let's do one more. Okay, let me, let's manage the space here. So if we have a bigger number, 1, uh, Hundred and three thousand four six five minus twenty one thousand five two four. Okay, so we've arranged this. So let's subtract. So five, yeah, we can take away four from five, and that would give us a one. That's five minus four is a one. Yes, we can take away two from six. And we're left with what? 4. Okay. Can we take away 5 from 4? No, we cannot. We have to borrow. All right. So we borrow a 1 here. That's a 14. Okay. So taking away 5 from 14, what do we have left? We're going to have a 9 left. Okay. And we have left uh, here. You know, we've taken a 1 from here. So 2 is left. So 2 minus 1 will give us what? A 1. All right. Can we take away 2 from 0? No, we cannot. So we have to borrow this one here bro one from here you know when we take away one from here this definitely will be left with what zero so taking away one from here adding it here we have a 10 and 10 minus 2 i didn't arrange this properly it's supposed to be directly under this 10 minus 2 will give us what an 8 and definitely there's nothing left here so we have 0 minus 0 which is still what zero so this is our answer 18000 941 so this is the answer here okay let's solve a word problem now on that subtraction so the question says uh ted uh budgeted 26 dollars for dinner okay if he pays with a hundred dollar bill. How much? How much change should he get? Okay. I will always try as much as possible. Every topic I treat, I would always solve a word problem, okay? Because you know what problems can come out from any topic, all right? So this is a word problem. It says, Ted budgeted $26 for dinner. If he pays a $100 bill, how much change should he get? So this is quite straightforward. It's telling you to subtract. You take away what, 26 from your hundred dollars to get what the change and uh, to get the value of the change you should what get so definitely we have what hundred minus what twenty six so from here can we take away six from zero no we cannot so we have to borrow if we come here we can't borrow anything here because this is zero so we come to this um the third digit here we borrow a one drop the one here okay this becomes a 10 you know since we're trying to borrow to this particular digit here okay so we now borrow a one from here borrow a one from here this becomes 10 and you know this was 10 before and it becomes what nine okay don't forget that so 
6 uh, taking away 6 from 10 we have what a 4 and here we're left with what we're left with what a 9 so 9 minus 2 you know taking away 2 from 9 we have what a 7 so this the change he should get 74 dollars okay so thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video see you in the next video um of i think the next after this um, topic is multiplication so see you in the next video all right thank you and don't forget to subscribe please share give this video a thumbs up all right and i'm going to drop the link to the facebook group in the video description box of this video and other resources to help you thank you for staying tuned you are destined to win see you in our next video bye